Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at making a website completely out of scratch in Photoshop. And ultimately what we're going to be left with is a website template PSD. And in a future tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to take that template and turn it into an actual HTML slash CSS website. And so in the end, this is what we're going to be left with. As you can see, if I click and drag, this is just one image, and this is what we're going to be making today. And then uh, in a future tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to take this and turn it into this, which is ultimately pretty much the same thing, except as you can see, if I highlight text, text gets highlighted, and it's not just an image, it's an actual website. So uh, a couple things that I need to mention before we actually get started. Um, I went ahead and went to cooler.com to check out some color themes for this theme before I actually made it. Um, cooler.com is a great website for just different mix and match colors that go together and these are all user generated. So you could go ahead, go on cooler.com and be like, oh, this is a really cool color theme. I think I'm gonna try to use a couple of these in my website. And actually the one I'm using is a color theme called rain. I use this light blue for the background. Um, I believe I used this one, uh, the second darkest blue for this border over here. And then I used this almost black color uh, for the logo. So that's a cool little thing. I'll include the link to Cooler in the video description below. Also, I used the uh, uh, font Anklata, I think that's how you say it, uh, for the logo of Octotoots.com over here. And then uh, there are a couple things like the social network icons and uh, the banner and everything, which I will include in a folder. And this folder is on my desktop. It's called Classy because that's what I named this theme because the light blue color is kind of professional and it just looked classy to me. And in this folder, we have the website PSD along with the social network icons uh, with the banner and the banner drop shadow. So all of that is included in this folder and I'll also include the link to the font um, and Clada and Cooler in the video description for you guys to check that out. So that was a mouthful, but with all of that being said, let's get started on creating the actual template. So the template is pretty straightforward. It's just a couple different colored blocks with some images and some text put together to look like this. So it is pretty simple, but it is also going to take a while. Um, so that's why I went ahead and split this tutorial up into a couple parts. Uh, so let's get started with part number one, just making the image. So let's click on File, New, and let's make an image with a width of 1,600 pixels and a height of 1,100 pixels, and press OK. Now, this image needs to have a white area in the center where all the content is. So before we make that area, let's double click on the background layer press OK, and then double click again, and let's apply a color overlay for that blue color we saw on cooler.com. And I have these colors set already for my foreground and background colors, so I'll just click. And the hex code for this is E6F5F7. So let's press OK and press OK again. So now we want to make this center area, the white area, so let's click on File, New. And let's make a new image with a width of 980 pixels with a height of about 1,000 pixels. Now, most websites are, are either made with, uh, width of one, um, with a width of 800 pixels or 960 pixels. I made this one 980 uh, just because I extended the borders a little bit so they have a little room on the side. Uh, but either way, those are the two main things, just letting you guys know. So I'm going to click and drag this onto our image over here. And what I'm going to do to center this is hold down Command or Control if you're on Windows and click on the thumbnail image for the background. This is going to select the marching ants for the whole background. And if I have my pointer tool selected, we could go up to the transform controls and make sure that this is clicked, the aligned horizontal centers and the aligned vertical centers is clicked. So that's going to center the whole thing. And then we could click Command D or Control D if you're on Windows to deselect. And with that being done, let's double click on that layer and let's apply that stroke. The color is going to be another color from cooler.com. This hex code is 6B7E8C. Let's press OK. Uh, the size is one pixel for the stroke. OK, so now we're off to a good start. This is what we have and this is what we need. So the next step is to make this logo over here. So I'm going to click and drag this image over here. And what we're going to do is resize this, 
Command T or Control T if you're on Windows. And then let's just resize this down to a very, very small image. Okay, something like that. And then let's position this somewhere over here. Okay, let's look back. Oops. Maybe a little smaller. Okay, that looks good. So now what we want to do is uh, type in octotoots.com in the Angular font that I told you guys uh, about in the video in the beginning of this video. So octotoots.com, and I'll just go ahead and make this black for now. Position this about right there, and this is 48 point uh, text. And then I'm going to select the text tool again and type in free HD video tutorials. And I think I'll make this about 18 points for the size. Okay. And we'll click and drag right below. And then one last thing that I'll do is I'll select the line tool, which uh, should be somewhere around the rectangle tool or the shape tool. And we'll just make a line right next to Octotus just to add a little pizzazz. There you go. And that looks good. So we have the logo done. Now what we need is the social um, network icons. Uh, so we'll start with Twitter, click and drag. And then we'll just click and drag these one by one and then we'll do the positioning after they're all on here. Then YouTube. And finally the RSS feed. Okay, so let's see, Twitter, Facebook, let's zoom in a little here, and we'll position these directly next to each other, YouTube next, and then the RSS feed. Okay, that looks good. So now what I'm going to do is group all of these and make sure I have it aligned with the logo and move it over here. Okay, so if we take a look at our layers, you already see that this, this is starting to get a little messy. We have layers one through seven and I have no idea what they are. So I'm going to have to um, check what this is. For example, if I hide layer seven, I know it's the RSS feed, but I wouldn't know otherwise. Uh, so it is going to be a little messy. What I did in my actual website PSD, as you can see, we have different folders. We have the logo folder, uh, the social network icons folder. And if we open up these folders, we have all the files for that certain part of the template. So if you could, um, you could do that to stay a little organized, but just to save time in this tutorial, I'll just be making it messy. With that being said, now we, we need uh, the navigation bar over here. So what we're going to do is click on File, New, and we're going to make a new image with a width of 960 pixels and a height of, I believe, 30 pixels. Press OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in with a gray color of EC, EC, EC. Press OK. And just fill that in with the Paint Bucket tool. And then I'm going to double click on the background layer to unlock it. Now I'm going to click and drag. And I'll position this where the navigation bar goes. That looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is click on the text tool, select black for the text color. And this whole theme is pretty much based around the font Helvetica. Um, I'm pretty sure any computer comes with that font. So just type in Helvetica and let's type in home. Uh, about services, portfolio, and contact. I believe those are the pages that I made. And we'll make this 14 point font. And then we'll zoom in a little over here. And we'll adjust this to where we want it to go. And what we'll also do is we'll change the color of these little uh, uh, brackets or separators to white. So you could barely see those, uh, but it just gives it a nice little look. Okay. 
and that looks good. So now we have the navigation bar. Now we need the banner and the drop shadow for the banner. So let's click and drag this banner. Oops. Click and drag the banner over here. Okay. And then we'll click and drag the drop shadow for the banner and put it below the banner. And there you go. So now we have the drop shadow and uh, the uh, actual banner itself. But one thing that I added, if you if I zoom in a little, you can see that there's this little um, gray line right above the banner and right below the navigation bar. What we'll do to make that is we'll head back to this image that we made uh, for the navigation bar and we'll just change the image size. I'll be using this image a couple times throughout the whole template, so just keep it there. But this time I'll change the height to five pixels, keep the width at 960. Press OK, and then we'll just click and drag this line on top of the border or on top of the banner. And that looks good. And actually, let me just go ahead and move these a little up. OK, so now we have the logo, the social network icons, the navigation bar and the banner. And let me zoom out. Let's see what we need here. What we need is this content area uh, with the welcome and then these three areas and then just the footer left. So let's go ahead and get started on uh, the content area. What we'll do is head back to this image. As I said, keep it because we're going to use it. And let's change the image size and let's make the height 500 pixels instead of 5. And then we'll click and drag this onto our image. Let's zoom in over here. And that looks pretty good. Just put a little bit of space between them. Okay, and that looks good like that. And then what we need is the welcome text with the writing. And again, this is Helvetica. I'm just gonna type in welcome and I'll change the size of this to 18 or 24. I think I'll do 24 and position this in the corner and then I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this text over here copy and this is size 14 helvetica again paste that right there okay and then we need those three columns so let's click on the text tool and type in who we are what we do and why choose us who we are this is Helvetica. Um, let's change this to black and then let's make it 18 point font. And we'll position this down here. And then I will type in what we do in the center. And why choose us. And we'll take these and position these like so. this into in the center and why choose us all the way to the right okay that looks pretty good as far as my eye could see and then what we'll do is add some lines so let's choose the line tool again and let's make a new layer command shift and if you're on Windows control shift or command shift and if you're on Mac control shift and if you're on Windows uh, click and drag, um, hold shift and click and drag the line tool to make this line. And then we'll right click on that and duplicate it. Press OK and then we'll bring these for the what we do. And then right click again, duplicate it and press OK and then take it to why choose us. Okay, let me position these a little better. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we need these text over here. Um, these just say text over and over again, so I'll just copy and paste this uh, back into the area. And again, this is Helvetica and 12 point font. Okay, that's one. Let's do two. And for the what we do, we're gonna center the text instead of um, putting it to the left. And then for the why choose us, we're going to move the text to the right instead of putting it to the left or center. 
and that looks good and we're almost done now we just need the footer for the footer it's the same exact thing helvetica um 12 point font so i'm just going to copy and paste this down into here and simply it just says copyright 2010 which i should change to 11 um octo toots all rights all rights reserved and then i put a couple extra pages over here for example contact advertise sitemap privacy and top and what i did for these pages i changed the color to a light gray color of 535353 and then for the copyright section that's just in black and then we'll just position this down here and there we go we are done with this template as I said, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Just a bunch of colored blocks put together with some images and some text. But hey, it looks pretty nice. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next tutorial when we're going to take this template and convert it into an HTML slash CSS template so you could use it for your actual website. Remember, the Classy folder is uh, available for download in the video description below. And make sure to stay subscribed. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash octosites and become a fan on Facebook at facebook.com slash octosites to be updated when the next portion of this tutorial is uploaded. That's it. Until next time, I will catch you guys later.